Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Jaguar video. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace crankshaft pulley, tensioner and drive belt the right way. I'll try to keep the video as raw as possible so you can see all the problem and struggle that you might get into. There is no surprise how difficult it is to work around those Jaguars and how easy things can break. Without further ado, let's crack on. In my case, this one failed. Just broke. What you have to do now is to unscrew those bolts. Obviously, I have to to replace the pulley and the belt, but some of you might have the might have the the belt in place at this point. So, what you need to do is to release the tension from the from this tensioner and take the take the belt out first, and then install the, the the new one so in order to release the tension you need something like this uh, jaguar and uh, ford ford mondeo mk3 so what you need to do is to get the tool in and try to hook it Once it's hooked up, you pull towards the front of the car, like that. Now at this point, you want to, to remove the, the belt and release the tension and then go underneath and, and do the rest. At this point, you should have the belt off. This one, it will look different. You'll have this one in place as well, but it is what it is. So, 15 mil socket and try to take those off so now either you support this one so you can unscrew it otherwise you'll turn the engine or use an impact driver better to use an air gun rather than this one but we'll see wd-40 or shock and unlock let's see how it goes The impact drill didn't work for me because the bolts were screwed very tight, so I had to use a breaker bar. You have no option then to hold on this metal here. If it's like in full, you, you might want to use a plier, grip it here, and as you turn it, it will hit the chassis of the car, so it won't go anywhere. But in that case, you want to use something else, but before that, you have to take this rubber out if you can. remove the alternator and then to take out the, the whole unit the whole um, the whole tensioner with the, with the pulleys and everything so I had to take out those fuel line the fuel filter as well so I can have access down here <sighs> next I'm going to to disconnect the electrical connectors the alternator is already loose so it's got one screw at the top here and another two screws at the uh, at the bottom of the car. So I'll go under the car now to show you 
what's going on there so as you can see we've got those bolts here to which I unscrew to release the alternator very important tip when you remove the alternator you have to remove the the battery positive and negative as well now back up with the car right you push it in and then you just take it out like so and away with the electrical connectors and now we just have to slide it out So you have to lift up the alternator, all the way to here, you can take it out if you really want to, but for, for the purpose of this video, uh, where we have to replace the tensioner, we don't, have to, we don't really need to take it out all the way. So you want to bring it up all the way to here, secure it with, with something just to not fall down, and that's it with the alternator. Then you go under the car and you'll see that you have more space now to, to work on the tensioner so you have to remove those bolts here we've got one at the top two at the bottom and then all the units should should come out easily Now we've got this one here to deal with. Just have to replace this pulley here and to add the tensioner. Tensioner will be here, like so, right here. And then we'll install this unit together. T40 Torx. take this off So this is how it should be. Right next is this. Like so, make sure the washer is in place and the rubber o-ring as well.
but this one it should have display because you have to it, it it has to put tension on the on the belt so that's done we just have to fit it back on the car now at this point you should fit the belt at the same time with the tensioner. The reason why I haven't done it is to show you how you can fit it without removing the tensioner. Obviously nothing is easy with Jaguar, this screw is too long to come out. The new one gets in easier. So basically what I've done, I un unscrew those two bolts, one here, one here, and move the engine like so. You can have that millimeters just enough for the pulley to, to come out so now we have to put the bolts back those two bolts one here 
one to the other side and then we have to put the the crank pulley and the belt whenever you work under the car that's very serious so make sure you've got you've got proper support under the car before thinking of going underneath now we install the crankshaft pulley it's got just it will go just one way with this spacer here on the outside so like that if you try to do it the other way it won't fit so just one way to go which is like that now if you have this tool you'll be able to hook it on and tighten those bolts like so once you lock it in it won't go anywhere And now we have to use it at the tensioner to install the belt. I couldn't find any copyright free diagram to use on this video, so I had to come up with something to show you the layout. So that's the the layout of the of the belt. You've got the tensioner, the crank pulley, uh, aircon. That's the top pulley, and that's another one. So you should do it something like that. The real problem here is to to pass this one through here as this space here is very tight obviously here we've got the screw so the way, the way I'm, I am thinking of doing it is to try and squeeze this like that if I can just to try and pry it out as much as I can squeeze it in turn it and then I should I should be able to do the rest so we have it on the alternator then on the pulley here the other one and the aircon obviously we have to use the tool for the tensioner this is how I'm thinking to do it as I mentioned before, the belt should be installed at the same time as the tensioner. But if your belt snapped and you don't want to change the tensioner, this is the way to go. For this, you'll need an Allen key to loose up the tensioner. You don't have to take it all the way out. Crack it loose just enough to slide the belt. If the Allen key is too long, you might have to cut it to fit. I find it easier to take the the belt all the way here and leave it and leave it uh, leave the bottom at the end because you'll hook up the tool like so here and as you pull this as you pull the tool you'll be able to to put the belt as well so let's see how it's getting on.
This is a good method, but I was too afraid to not catch my fingers. So I had to find a different way to do it. Car manufacturer don't recommend you to turn the engine backwards. I knew that nothing will happen and I did it that way. So there is no way to install this one unless you turn the, the crank pulley. But at the same time, you want to, to use the tool and, and release the tension on the tensioner. As you can see, because I turn it here, it looks like it slips from the air cone just a bit. So what I'll do, I'll just have to go back. So we just have to release the tension, put the tool back here and tighten up all those three bolts. <laughs> 